Now y'all see how I'm living today? But I'm going to take y'all back to how it first started. So one day, me and my left hand DT on the block, you feel me, chilling. I tell cuz, let's go hit the store and grab some woods and some gas. But who knew y'all? This one day would change my life forever. So we ended up pulling up to the BP down the street because it was the closest. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We pull up, hop out. Walk in that thing, you feel me? Go grab our leaves and our gas. Now, while we in there, this dude named Bear from Englewood Families pull up. Now, Dog was somebody from his way who was getting that bag. But we was beefing heavy at this time. So as soon as he walk up in there and see us, me and DT get the set tripping on him like, what's cracking, cuz? You know you out of bounds. He like, listen, I ain't worried about y'all boys' blood. Y'all ain't got enough pipe to be for me. Y'all better cut it out and find y'all something safe to do. I ain't the one on family's gang, fool. I'm like, man, on 60 crit, we ain't worried about y'all boys. But I'm gonna give you a pass. Since we in this gas station. And I ain't trying to crash out. So we going back and forth for a little second in that thing. And I walk out that thing. But I'm mean mugging cuz the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So we hop out. I go outside and pump my petrol. So when that fool bear walk out. He's staring at me and mugging like we soft or something. Man, I couldn't let this go, y'all. On 60 Crip, I hopped out my whip and walked up on cuz while he was pumping this guy. And up the blower on him. He like on blood, you done lost your mind, nigga. I'm like, yeah, nigga. You thought this was sweet. And on 60 Crip, I'm going to need you to run everything. That chain, them buffs, and any paper that you got in your pockets, fool, if you want to live. He like, you making a big mistake, blood. I'm like, boy, you the only one that done made a mistake coming up here today. RSC, ruthless, scandalous, crafty, fool. You know what it is. Man, that fool gave up everything, y'all. And he had like 10 stacks on him. He like, this ain't over, blood, I promise. Man, y'all, I grabbed that bread so quick, and I told him, don't move till I pull off. If you do, I'ma leave your brains all up on this concrete. You feel me? So I hop in my whip after that and yank off. And I threw cuz like five racks just for coming along on the mission. Y'all, I know that boy was sick. I got him like that. But little did I know, this was far from over, gang. That boy was out for revenge, y'all. So later on that night, he out sliding past our hood, you feel me? And he spot the homie DT outside Mayvern Liquor smoking a square. And that's all he needed, y'all.
I don't know how Cuz wasn't on his P's and Q's and I ain't see dude walking up to him. That part will forever blow me. He get up on Cuz and up blow her. Like, yeah, where your man's at, blood? Cuz, like, I ain't telling you nothing. You must ain't learn from earlier. Man, you up that blower, you better use it. I ain't telling you nothing, clown. Bear like, oh, I got you. I was gonna do that anyways. And hit Cuz nine times. I'm at the crib when I hear the shot, you feel me? Being locked out of my own house kind of screws But I already know that's where Cuz was at. Man, I ran up there so quick, y'all. So when I get up there with Blower, you feel me? I see my man's laid out. He already gone, y'all. Man, I was so hurt, y'all. I wanted to cry. But at the same time, I had a whole lot of murder on my mind. Whoever did this, DT, was going to pay. So I get back like 30 minutes later, y'all. Man, 12 had that thing roped off. Yo, fam. What's up? All right, all right. So a couple days later, you feel me? We on the block still trying to figure this out and slide for cuz. And I tell my bro Lamar, I'm like, hey, cuz, the streets talk, bro. Whoever did this can't hide forever. And that's when my Uncle G pull up on us. Oh, he hop out that thing and walk up on us, you feel me? He like, yeah, the street's saying that fool bear from Englewood family's bragging about that body. Lamar like, now nah, we know for sure. We got to slide. I'm like, good looking, huh? We got this. That nigga ain't gonna make it another day. Lamar like, bro, we need to go holla at Big Stretch down the street and see what Cuz got for us. I tell him that don't sound like a bad idea, bro. So after Unc pull off, you feel me? I tell Lamar, let's go. We walk down the block. Now, Big Stretch, that's our cousin, baby daddy, and he an OG from the set. And he always keep blowers and cluck wheels. He like, so I heard your boys looking for a striker and some heat. I'm like, yeah, cuz, we found out who killed the homie DT. And that nigga gotta die tonight. If not, the hood gonna look real bad. And that was the homie. He like, I got your boys. 
and he tell Lamar to go look on the other side of the car. When bro get over there, y'all, it's an AR and two clips on the ground. Bro come back with that thing. I get excited, y'all. I'm like, oh yeah, this the one right here, stretch, stretch like this on the house. He like, and if y'all get caught, y'all boys don't know me. Well, I tell him good luck and you feel me and we pull off. And we yanked down the Ainty crib. We just had to wait for the sun went down to make our move. Later on that night, y'all, it was time to get to work. I told Lamar, they say he stay on the edge of their hood. So I'm going to have you drive, bro, and I'm going to shoot. And let's ride out. So we camped out across the tracks, you feel me? Just waiting until we spot that full car. Man, I was in full murder mode, y'all. Wasn't nothing finna stop this hit. So after waiting for about 20, 30 minutes, y'all, we finally spotted that full car pulling up getting ready to go back to his spot i tell Mar, there you go he like bet we own it as soon as that fool yank up in his driveway y'all it was go time i had bro hit the little cut behind his spot And I hop out that thing, y'all. Get up on that fence, you feel me? Hop that thing. Drop and roll. Hit the back of that full crib. He wasn't going to see it coming. He in the car. Chilling like it's sweet. And y'all, I pop behind that cut so cold. Lit the whole car up. Left his head on the steering wheel. We yanked off, y'all. Now, while we yanking off, y'all, some of his homies get to talking crazy. We get to busting at them. Y'all can get it too. Man, y'all. It really felt good. We have finally got revenge for the homie, man. I thought everything was going to be straight after that. So about a week later, y'all. We chilling in front of Auntie Spot, you feel me? Cooling it. Kicking the bobos, you know. Regular hood activities. I tell bro and them, I'm about to hit the store. Right across the street. Y'all need anything? Everybody say they good. So I'm like, all right. I get to walking over there by myself. Now, when I come out the store, y'all, I see a cop car across the street. 
And that mug pull up in front of A.T. Crib and stop. And they turn the sirens on. I'm looking at all this like, what's going on? And they walk up on me. They tell me I need to come with them because I'm a suspect in an active murder investigation. I tell them, I'm like, murder? Now, what is y'all talking about? And I ain't got nothing to say to y'all without having my lawyer present. Man, y'all ain't got nothing on me anyway. How wrong I was, y'all. See, I had forgot that I had a little pocket rocket on me. And they got that joint, y'all. After that, I knew it was over. Even if they ain't get me for the body, y'all, I was already a felon, so they was going to get me for the blower. Man, y'all, I'm in the back of the cop car talking so crazy. I'm talking about cussing them out, y'all. And they going right back with me, just with, making me angrier, you feel me? Marsick, he knew it was all bad. He like, don't worry, baby, bro, you gonna be straight. Now, like I said, y'all, I knew they ain't had no evidence in that murder, except probably me arguing with dude in the gas station. But they definitely got your boy for that blower. That landed your boy in the joint for three years, y'all. Now, the whole time I'm in that thing, I'm just thinking, like, man, when I get out of here, it ain't about nothing but money. Just sitting there getting my physique right, plotting on the come up. After three years, y'all, your boy was finally back on the streets free. Man, I couldn't believe it. Man, that fresh air tasted so great. Hey, my man, man, I couldn't believe I was out, y'all, still. And the only thing on my mind was running up a meal. I ain't care what the cost was. I was gonna do it right this time in the streets. So when I pull up to the spot, you feel me? All my people out there waiting for me. It was good to see him. And Lamar like, what's up baby bro? Welcome home. It's time to get to it. Me and Unc got a couple of dollars for you, and one of his connects finna pull up on us so you can score. I'm like, shit, bro, that's been the only thing on my mind for all these three years, man. I'm ready. So this nigga named Clay pull up on us in a red Benz truck, you feel me? Never met this dude before, but he looked kind of fishy. I walk up on homie, I'm like, what's happening, man? Hey, I heard you got it. He like, what's going on? So you G nephew, huh? I done heard a lot about you. You ready to get that bag, young nigga? I just gotta go grab it out my stash spot and I'm gonna bring it back to you. I'm like, hell yeah, homie. Honestly, I just need a couple of ounces to hold me down for right now. And then we can go from there on out. Well, after that, y'all, Brody pull off. He tell me he's going to be back in about 20, 30 minutes. So after we out there chilling for about 40 minutes, y'all, I just knew he wasn't coming back. Then a car with some blood sent it, rolled up on us and slid us, y'all. Only thing I could think, y'all, this was a motherfucking setup. 
Yo, I know me though. Active with that blower. Them skills still work. My blue oil ass is down. I don't know why he did that, y'all. I was trying to do right this time. But he set off that demon again, y'all. And from there on, y'all, your boy was going to go on to become one of the biggest drug dealers in the United States. Y'all know the rest. <laughs>